All right, let's talk about some plank walkbacks. Two ways to do it. One is walking back on your tippy toes. One is using some furniture sliders, a very basic piece of equipment you can get on Amazon. Like this is, this is meant for like moving dressers around on carpet and stuff. So um, easy peasy, right? Let me show you what it looks like. So um, I like to do it from the forearm plank. You can do it from the high plank, the push-up plank as well. Either way is fine. Uh, whichever one's more natural for you. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just making sure I'm in the shot. Yeah. Right here, so I'm on my forearms, I got my nice plank going, and I'm just gonna walk back on my tippy toes. And now, as I walk back, it's gonna feel harder and harder to keep my lower back from sagging. And when I get to that end range, I just walk back up. And that's one rep. And now we do that, you know, I think we're doing a set of five or something like that usually. And so when I say, when I walk back to the end range, what I mean is, as I go backwards, it's gonna be harder and harder to keep this connection. Remember this from the dead bugs and everything else. So I'm, my back's gonna to wanna to go here and you'll feel that kind of tension. So you wanna stop right before you feel like you're about to give out that way. Okay, so it's a little bit different for everybody. And one way to just advance the same drill over and over again is get stronger so that you can walk back further, okay? Now with the sliders, it's the exact same movement. I'm just gonna put my my toesies up on the sliders, and now I can go here. So, one, and that's it. This will slide way easier on carpet than it just did on the yoga mats, but I think you get the idea.